Hi, I'm Veronica Wasik with 5-Minute Bookkeeping. Should you clean up QuickBooks Online or should you start over? Is your client's QuickBooks Online so messed up that you would just want to start over? You feel like there's no point in even trying to fix it. Well, there's some things that you need to consider in whether you will clean up a client's QuickBooks or you'll start over. Let's go over what those are. If you're going to start over with QuickBooks Online, then you need to first think about the fact that you need to then either enter or import the lists in QuickBooks. That may be the chart of accounts, products and services list, uh, customers, vendors, anything that's a list has to be added or imported into QuickBooks. The second thing you have to do is to then populate or add the opening balances into QuickBooks. That will be the balances in the chart of accounts, open accounts receivable balances, open accounts payable balances, inventory balances, balance sheet balances. All of those transactions and amounts need to be set up in QuickBooks. You need to also consider that the client won't be able to use QuickBooks online as you're working to set up the new file. So if your client needs to use QuickBooks online, um, they won't be able to. And then you have to consider how long it'll take you to set up the new file and how long your client can go without using QuickBooks for an extended period of time. You also need to consider what will happen to the current transactions that are taking place while you're setting up QuickBooks. Will the client enter those later? and possibly feel overwhelmed with having to enter so many transactions. Will you do that? Will you, will you be able to get the QuickBooks caught up so that then the client can continue working on the books or you can continue to do so? And consider the loss of historical information. Is that something that's important to your client? Do they want to be able to see historical information, uh, customer balances, invoices, payments, and things like that. If that's important to them, maybe starting over may not be the best thing for them. And also, if they're starting over with a new QuickBooks online and they had a previous QuickBooks online, then what will happen to the subscription uh, of the old QuickBooks online? Will they continue to pay for that so they can have access to historical information? Or will they at some point have to download all of that information? Those are the things then that you need to consider if you're starting over. If you're going to clean up your client's QuickBooks file, then the first thing that you should start with is the diagnosis. I did a previous video showing you some strategies for diagnosing your client's QuickBooks online account. And uh, make sure that you look at that video so you can uh, learn what to do in order to diagnose your client's books. Some additional considerations for you to think about. Um, are you wanting to start your client's QuickBooks over because perhaps cleaning up their books is um, perhaps over your current skill set? Or is it because their books are so messed up that they really should be started over? Think about what takes longer. Does it take longer to start over or to clean them up? Consider that. Determine what's best for the client. Do they need to retain historical information, for example? Would that be a better fit for them? And if that's really important to them and they're willing to pay for an extensive cleanup, that may be the better way to go for them. And also consider whether they need to use QuickBooks Online for their day-to-day -day activities while you're cleaning up QuickBooks for them. Uh, some clients need to be able to invoice customers directly from QuickBooks. They need to be paid online uh, through QuickBooks payments. And so starting them over on, on a QuickBooks file may not be the best fit for them. What I'm trying to encourage you to do then is to determine what's most important to your client and not necessarily what's most convenient for you. Um, always put the client's needs ahead of your own. Here at VM Wasik, we do specialize in some very colossal QuickBooks online cleanups, and we've done it for many years. And while I would say that we are 
experts and advanced at doing uh, QuickBooks cleanups, we have always cleaned up our clients' files and have never started uh, a new QuickBooks for a client. Now that's not to say that that would be the right option for you, but it is something to keep in mind as you continue to do more cleanups and develop your skills and develop your diagnostic skills, you may find that you are starting clients files less and just cleaning up their existing files more. I'm Veronica Wasek. Check the description box below for valuable free resources and for a link to join my Facebook community of bookkeepers. If this content is helpful, then like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel so you can get the latest videos. Bye.